as you can from see. the picture in the beginning of the film, this is the front porch, and this is the center portion of the house. We're going to build it in three different sections. We're starting off with the center portion. That's going to be a living room, kitchen, garage, and, and the center portion. The master suite's going to be on that side, and the guest suite's going to be on this side, but we're going to do that at a little later date. We've progressed enough now where I can show you what the columns are doing. We're finally up to the uh, one lateral line at about eight feet, which ties the whole wall together there as well. So let's go around inside and I'm going to show you how we do some of the electric and how the walls are put together. Okay, as you can see, we have quite a bit of the walls built. At this level, we're going to have a horizontal layer of rebar. I'm going to take this opportunity to show you this is how the conduit is put through the walls for the electricity. You can do it several different ways, but here, typically, anything that's a switch uh, comes from the top, okay? So that's how they'll run the conduit down through the wall. And then later on, I'll show you anything that's at the ground level for your lower receptacles will be run through the concrete floor. Okay, as you can see here, they have the switch box positioned in here and held in place while the concrete dries and that's where the conduit comes down. One of the nice things I like about building in this way, it's such a fireproof system. You know, I mean, something could be sitting in there smoldering forever and there's just nothing to catch on fire. So it's a very safe and effective way to run your electricity through the house. Now let's go in the back and we'll show you how they lay the lateral line. Okay, remember this is floor level right here. Okay, so eventually this is all going to be filled and concrete and everything uh, is, is uh, sealed. We're going to have a, a vapor barrier under here and gravel. Okay, so these are the um, electrical boxes that will be to, at the floor. You can see the conduit's going to run underneath the floor, up through the wall, and into the box right here. That's what you're doing, cutting those boxes. You can see this is the start of one of our pillars that we had. You can see how everything's getting tied together. What I want to point out here is this is how the walls are tied in now, into the corners. You can see it's every, this is every two box, they have a tie rod right here. And this is going to be tied around, this is what's going to tie the corners and all the walls together. Here's a complete okay. corner post. Everything's poured, and we're coming up to the lateral layer that's at eight feet. That's going to tie the walls together at the eight foot mark as well. Because this house is going to have about 11, 12 foot ceilings on the sides, and then 14 and 15 in the center. I'm going to point out this one stake with the red mark. We had a topographer come out. Uh, before we laid the whole house out and fine-tuned it. And on this particular lot and in all lots in Costa Rica, anything that's near water has setbacks. So we have certain setbacks and they can actually vary from site to site depending on the geography, the kind of water, the wildlife, and everything that's involved. So we wanted to make sure before we laid everything out that we had all the proper setbacks in mind. So once we built the uh, master and guest wings that we're not going to infringe on or infringe on any of those um, areas. One of the things I really like about working here and these workers is they actually live right on site. One of the first things they do is they get electricity to the site and they build themselves some living quarters. So they're living here every day. They take off on the weekends. So you don't have to worry about guys showing up in the morning. They work from 6 to 6 basically every day, five days a week, and a lot of times a half a day on Saturday. So on average, you can get about 60 hours per week out of each worker. And uh, 
to, by one week, with all these kind of guys working, we really get a lot of work done. This is going to be the corner of the living room. And as you can see, these spaces to either side, we're going to build some custom accordion doors so we can slide all the doors back. So if you're sitting in the living room, you have a total vista out in front of your property. And of course, we've got a huge porch wrapping around the whole living area because here in Costa Rica, especially in this climate, this is where you're going to end up spending most of your time is sitting on the porch. So it's come along very well. Um, we'll be back next week or so, depending on the progress. We had a little bit of rain here this week. You can see things are kind of muddy. So hopefully everything's going to progress well this next week, and we'll come back and we'll see the lateral lines poured, and we'll continue on. Thank you.